So after spending about two years on the Asian hobby show circuit, it has finally been released. It is the Citron DS21 from Ebro, and it is today's What's in the Box. So let's get to it, and let's check it out. Hey everyone, and welcome into the garage for today's What's in the Box, and it is the Citron DS21 from Ebro. Finally been released after about two years of being teased by them. They finally got it out just a short time ago, probably about a month, two months ago now, I believe, something like that. It's been out for a little bit. This is the follow-up to the Citron DS21, or to the DS19 kit that Ebro released, uh, I think it was four years ago now at this point, well, maybe five years, something like that, four years ago. It was one of the very first kits I did a What's in the Box video on, actually, so I've kind of come full circle now here. I um, guess I can now call it quits since I've done the full circle. No, that doesn't make any sense, no. All right, so anyways, I did that video, uh, that, and that video doesn't exist anymore, which is probably for the better. Uh, so I'll go ahead and do a full What's in the Box look on this kit and not just the parts that make it the DS21. So with that, let's get cracking on and check out the DS21. And getting started with the body, you can see it does have the front doors do open as well. It does. This one does have an engine. This is not a curbside. There is engine detail for this kit. And moving on to the first of the three main parts trees, um, four if you count the chrome parts trees. So first of the four main parts trees, and there's actually going to be three choices of wheels in this kit. You have the ones that you see there, and then there's two on the chrome parts tree. And now moving on. So the next one, this is going to be mostly the interior parts tree there. As you can see, it has the interior door panels, the obviously the interior bucket, the seats, dash, all the interior stuff, basically. And now the chrome parts tree. We'll just do that real quick. And there you can see the two other wheel choices that are on the kit that are come with the. These are going to be the wheels that will be used in this for this kit there. Now the last of the parts trees, and this one is the engine and chassis, suspension, what have you, parts tree. So right down there is the so the engine, the engine bits. And the clear parts tree. The tires, which are going to be just uh, blank sidewall tires, no name blank sidewall tires. You get five of them, one for the spare, the poly caps, and then this bag. I actually am not quite sure what is in this bag. It looks like some type of. Uh, Stabilizing bars or something, maybe for the suspension. I'm not honestly quite sure. I haven't looked to get that. And finally, we're going to wrap it up looking at the decal. So you can see there's three separate sheets. You have the actual decal sheet there for the decals. Four choices of four registration plates for the decals there. And you get what is a 
a chrome uh, sheet, a chrome piece sheet, whatever you want to call it. Foil, I guess the next one will be foil. And then you get a gold foil sheet as well. So that is the Citron DS21 kit from Ebro. I didn't mention in the opening of the video, but this is kind of a pricey kit. It's in the $70 to $80 range. So it's going to be a kit that you're really going to want to like. Uh, it's a subject you're really going to like or just have no problem spending $70 to $80 on a model kit. So like I said, it's been on the pricey side. That's up to you to decide if it's too pricey for you, obviously. Okay, so there is, that is the Citron DS21. I know what I would love to do with mine uh, if a conversion set ever gets released for it. That is it, the taxi from Back to the Future Part 2. I would totally build that. So on that note, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time.